Hello guys, it's One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for episode 19 of Dragon Ball Super. Despair once more! The return of the evil emperor Frieza! And if you want the Japanese title, go check out Geek Sub. I don't do Japanese. But yeah, in this episode we officially start the revival of F Arc or the Fukatsu no F Arc. Yeah, Fukatsu no F. I'm actually probably going to be referring to it as Fukatsu no F or Revival of F. Just like I go in between between Scion and Saiyan, I'm going to go back and forth. I'm sorry guys, but that's just how it's going to work. So yeah, let's get started with the review. So, the episode starts off with us seeing Storbit, Togoma, and Shisami. Shisami, I think? I'm not really sure. I'll also rewatch the episode and catch his name later. I don't have time right now. But, the episode starts off with three, seeing those three people conversing in a room. They are talking about how, they're talking about how most of Frieza's army has been taken out, rebel, rebellions are rising up, and they're debating what to do, and Storbit said, we don't have a choice. We have to go to Earth and revive Frieza with the Dragon Ball. Now, of course, uh, Togoma is, is, like, being like, are you an idiot? Like, he's, he's pretty much dead to the bad idea, which it is. Can, but he, but then they look on Earth with, like, a sensor of some kind. Holographic possession sensor, I don't really, I don't really know what that was, honestly. I only know if there's a name for it. It doesn't seem like tech. I don't even know what it is. But the point is, is that... You look in, so you see that the Pilaf gang are gathering the Dragon Ball. Yay! And luckily, this actually does make sense timeline wise because it was this month last time we saw Goku. So as long as another, like, yeah, so if another six months passed, we're good. But if another six month didn't pass, then I call then I call BS because the Dragon Ball need to be inert for one year before they can be used again. So yeah, so they decide to go to Earth and they literally hop in on the Pilaf gang. And they just look at them and they're like, Mick, give me the Dragon Ball. That's literally what they do. They're like, give us the Dragon Ball. And they of course you, then they demonstrate their power. He lost his like, of course, of course, don't kill me. It's actually really freaking funny. But no, so he's like, he pleads for his life with, um, when you're know, Storbit to go, with Storbit and Togoma. And what happens is, is that, you know, they got a Dragon Ball. They, they have already had this Dragon Ball, which I still don't fully understand how they managed to get their hands on the Dragon Ball. I have the same problem with this in Revival of S. You don't just get your hands on the Dragon Ball. Especially when the Z Fighters are normally guarding them pretty closely. But maybe the Z Fighters just don't give a crap anymore? I don't know. There's literally no explanation to how the, why the Z Fighters would not normally always have at least one Dragon Ball with them. But who knows? Maybe they'll learn from this experience because of the uh, stuff, this mistake is gonna make them have to deal with. But. So they gather the Dragon Ball and they summon Generon. And Generon arises and you know, so he of course Storbit makes it for a quick, which is obviously restore Frieza back to life. Now, let's talk about the part of the episode that I really liked. Shenron Grant, three witches in the resurrected F or Fukasu no F version of Super, unlike in that in the unlike in the movie where he only grants two, which doesn't make any sense. But he also explains that when the new god, when the new god was chosen, that being Dende, when new god of Earth, Dende was chosen, and he was given an upgrade, his, the way his, his ability work was changed, which is, he can grant three witches, but if one of the witches is an incredibly extreme witch, like restore every single person on the entire planet that had been killed, when the entire population have been killed, 
then that brings it down to two with you. Because you'll, in other words, sometimes he can do two. In other words, if you have to bring back a lot of people, he can only do two with you. If he only bring back one, he has three. So, you know, he brings Frieza back, and then my, and, and this, you ask for, uh, one, one million Denny, one million Denny, and my asked for the best ice cream in the world. Okay, good for them. Nobody cares. Really, nobody cares because, well, I don't care. I don't know if you care about my ice cream. I sure as hell don't. But the point is, is that, Gen 1, when he brings Frieza back, this is the interesting part, brings him back in pieces and pretty much lies. He says he cannot be brought back in your know, full condition. Like, you would need to figure out how to put a cut up body, you know, that would cut up by trunks when he was killed on Earth. And yeah, they would need to fix that themselves. So that's a problem for them. A major problem, because, well, not. It, because they, of course, that means they're gonna take longer to do it. Because, and in some ways, actually, was kind of a blessing. Because let's be honest, if Frieza had been in his best pinnacle condition, he would have flipped everybody off and gone straight after the Z Fighter. Let's be honest. It, it, because he would not have had time to listen to them explaining the difference between him and Goku. Like, how much stronger Goku was. You know what I mean? Like, you know, in, in Resurrection F, they explained it, and he's like, Oh, God. If I don't trade, I'm gonna die. Goku can fight. Goku beat Majin Buu. Goku, Goku, Goku unlocked the third level of Super Saiyan. I don't want to screw with this guy. And my current power, I'd be going on a suicide mission. So, yeah. So, that's the, problem. That's, that's the plot the reason it happened. But... Frieza brought back in pieces. The reason I like this would be because it did show the favoritism Genron will play toward, toward the Z Fighter. Because you remember how many freaking times have people had to have lost the limb and brought back like the limb was never cut off. Tien? Oh, well, Perunga did it with Tien. I try to think. Well, no, I don't think it actually ever happened with. I don't know if I've ever had it with Shenron, but I know when Perunga brought them back, at least. The Namekian Dragon Perunga brought them back. He brought everybody's body back when they were fully restored. Which I always thought that was really interesting. Like, Tien came back with his arm. I always liked that a lot. But, let's move on to, you know, my, uh, but cool little differences and the things I liked about the episode. Okay, so let's be honest. One of the best parts of this episode with Piccolo playing with Baby Pan. That was priceless. I was rolling over laughing in that scene. Piccolo, a character that is serious, that doesn't really joke around, but, you know, I, I assume, I don't think he would ever do this with a normal kid. It, it is 100% because he did to go on daughter. He would need, Piccolo would not just do it to make any other kid smile. No, he's doing it because who daughter it is. But yeah, so he's, so he's doing all these funny things, he's playing peek a with her, and it's really funny. And, you know, you even see him looking around, like, is, is anybody here? Making sure no one is there. And, of course, Quaman, Quaman gonna be pissed off about that, but at least it's not as bad about the, the chopsticks to death. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help myself, I'm sorry. But, no, but, so then Gohan walks in and sees it, and the devil's like, how cute, are you? how cute, and... That goes like, you know, you saw nothing. It's a really funny scene. And then, you, know, you see a little bit brief thing with the pan, of the Dell and Pan just interacting. Well, not like interacting, Pan's like a, literally a newborn, so. <laughs> it's a mu as much interaction as a mother can have with a, with a newborn child. How about that? That's a better, that's a better way to put it, but. So what happens now is that Piccolo's sense of the energy that they're making the wish and talking to Shenron. You know, they noticed the sky is dark. Same as the movie! They decide to sit on their ass and do nothing! Because that makes sense! Because it's not like both of them couldn't be there in time to stop these guys! Right? <coughs> but then again, I, if they could fight, if they, I mean, if they knew where they were, they could be there, but no, they don't, they don't seem to really worry about it, which really annoyed me. But, but aside from a thing with Pan, 
And you know, obviously, obviously it's a lot more dragged out. But change-wise, things that will affect it. There is one other added thing. Right after Freddy does, you know, fully restored to it in his body. Which he is, just like in the movie. But they don't use Maximum X, which annoyed the hell out of me. Because that was one of my favorite parts in the movie. Freeza, Freeza, I love that. I love that song. It was done amazingly. Good voice acting. But, whatever. But what happened was, with the course, there was nothing they could do. Like, but, so, I mean, I did probably, but what happened was, the Goku and Vegeta, after Freeza come back and, you know, completely restored, in the last scene of the episode, you see Goku going, I just had a bad feeling. So he had the bad feeling. Oh crap, I'm running out of time. Okay, so what happened is, is that Goku, Chow, and Vegeta, you know, keep on cleaning. And I'm just going to talk about the changes and I'm going to end it because I don't have time. Because of the whole, you know, copyright strike thing. I can only do 15 minute videos. But so, it doesn't look like the whole arc is going to be like, I'm going to have a major problem. It doesn't look like it based on the trailer. Which I'll probably talk about in another video later this week. But what happened is, is that this was literally a frame by frame remake, pretty much, of, of Red Dress and X. It was the same damn thing. Literally. Just even crappier. And why are they going back and forth between the Kai new animation and Kai animation? It's stupid. I'm sorry, it's stupid. Make up your damn mind. Do you want 90s animation or 2015 animation? Make up your mind, people. And also, it's a frame by frame me remake. If you saw Red Direction F, I would not tell you what, and you don't like Piccolo as a character. Or, you, or if you're watching it, or if you don't care about comedy, you, it's not Red Direction F. Skip the episode for all I care. You're probably going to watch it anyway, but skip it. You're not, it's not, it's not like you're gonna miss anything, it was, it was a, it was, it had some good moments, but the episode overall was, got, was pretty damn bad in my opinion. Not episode 5 bad, but it was bad. Wanna know why? Because, for no apparent reason at all, guy, they made it the exact same thing as Red Rest and F. Why? It annoyed me so much. I was so bored because I, because I was thinking all the time I could be watching it in movie quality animation. Literally, there's no difference. I could watch it in movie quality animation, and the only difference would be that it was movie quality animation and it was nicer to look at. But uh, I'm sorry about my mini rant, guys. That really pissed me off. The the one thing, the only thing the battle of guard, God, the battle of God, or had going for it, or the changes. They don't have the budget to get these things better animation than the movie. That is obvious. They put everything into those movies. They can't make them this better. The problem is, is that, of course, they are not making enough changes so far. The next episode, though, it looks like Goten and Trunks, I'll quickly talk about it. It looks like Goten and Trunks will be fighting, possibly, and Jocko will show up. Yay! Jocko! Greatest thing about this arc, most likely. But, let's talk about the intro quickly before I end the review. The new intro is amazing. I really like it. I was disappointed that they didn't change the song. They changed the One Piece opening song every time. They have 18 freaking One Piece opening. It had nothing to do with money. They just didn't want to do it. But the new things were with Frieza and the guys were great. But the new title card was great. But yeah, I mean, the new, uh, there were, the episode had its highs and its lows. It, had to, it was done well when it comes to, oh, the pacing was amazing. It was done well, but, you know. But I have to just say this, I'm running out of time, so let me just say this. If I had to rate the episode, I would give it, I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, honestly. It was a, I mean, it wasn't bad, it did nothing happened. So I would give it like a 6 out of 10, solely because nothing happened, really. But he, well, nothing that we haven't already seen, nothing new happened. So, but guys, yeah, so I'll give this episode a 6 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more, vi and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. But above all else, have a great day, guys. Peace out.